That was a really interesting case because there was a there was a major divide there. People saying that was justified, and people saying there's no way that should have happened. I, I, I remember uh, that was one of the most um, uh, my early memories on radio here, Real Radio 94.3, of a real controversy on the airwaves. I was actually working that night, and I remember when that happened. And like I said, you know, everybody wants to blame him. Nobody actually wanted to take responsibility for their own actions. Why? Why would? Why did he even have the vehicle? What was he doing, being a 15 year old operating a vehicle? Not to mention, in fact, driving into the hall of the school. Now, as a, as a refresher, you guys, I'm so I'm sorry to interrupt you because I'm I'm super unaware of the story. Um, like you said, it was back in 2003. You don't have to apologize for anything because you come from the best state in all of America. So oh, all right. I got a Georgia boy we'll on up. the line. We'll break up. No, know. keep on. We're breaking up. You must be going through a tunnel. I'll tell you something. I was born and raised here, and like I said, I'm third generation here, and I'm counting the days until I can get the heck out of here and back to Georgia. Really? Oh, wow. You know what? I love Georgia, but I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say that they can't wait to get out of Florida to go to Georgia. But what part oh of Georgia? Oh, God. Oh, wait, wait. Let's not get sidetracked. Really quick. What was the guy, the 15 year old kid, like you said, he was going through the hallways of the school? Was he under the influence of something? I'm not super familiar with the story. Obviously, he was. Yo.